Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Uh, today is Friday, March 8th, 2013. And um, today I wanted to, actually yesterday, I wanted to record a video and give you my first impressions of the new SimCity game. Um, unfortunately, uh, my first impressions were this. Um, there's two things that I want to talk about. <clears throat> uh, one is, of course, the horrible debacle that is the release of this game. And second, the game itself, what little bit of it I've been able to play uh, in between server outages and disconnects and whatever. Um, so first of all, the, the release. Um, it, it seems unimaginable to me, I guess, that a company that, I mean, number one, makes video games, if you're talking about um, the developers, and number two, distributes video games, if you're talking about the distributor, and uh, and then have it fall so completely flat on its face. I mean, I know things happen, and there may have been bugs that just weren't detected that didn't show up until um, massive server load. Uh, they may have mis, you know, misestimated. Um, how many people were gonna try and jump on right away? There's all kinds of legitimate reasons, but I don't know. It it surprises me, I guess, and especially after we just had another uh, prominent title do the same thing, Diablo three. Um, Diablo three didn't seem this bad, though. I mean, the game was released on the fifth, I believe, right? That was Tuesday. It's now Friday. And I just tried getting on, and the servers are either unavailable, um, actually listed as unavailable, or if they're listed as available, uh, it won't connect to them anyway. Um, I don't know, just seems kind of amazing in this day and age. Um, and it makes me feel really bad because, you know, this game was worked on by I don't know how many people, probably hundreds of people thousands, tens of thousands of man hours put in to create this this thing that they want to share with people. Uh, you know, this beautiful expression, this art form, this game, this piece of entertainment. Um, and this is the first impression that everybody gets. And uh, just like when dealing with people face-to-face, -face, first impressions are a big deal when you're encountering a piece of software or any system, really. And um, I just think that's a real shame. Uh, so, I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know if it's the developer's, um, the developer's mistake in doing this, or if they were forced into um, adding this type of anti-pirate measure by the distributor. Uh, I don't know, but it <laughs> this shouldn't have happened from what I can see. Um, and you know, we, we blame it on the always on. Uh, always online DRM model that they're using. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with always online games. You know, there are certain genres that are just fundamentally multiplayer games that are always online. Things like um, MMOs, you know, World of Warcraft. It just doesn't work if it isn't always online. There is no single player mode. Um, or things like um, Team Fortress 2. Or Counter Strike, uh, they just aren't. They aren't single player games. They are not designed to support any kind of single player experience. They are always online multiplayer games, um, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, those um, I enjoy those games. Uh, so if if SimCity is going to be that kind of game, then you know that's fine. And always online. Uh, requirement makes perfect sense if it's going to be an always online type of game. Uh, I think the disconnect for a lot of people was that um, SimCity has always been, at least it was always for me, and I've heard a lot of people over the last couple of days saying the same thing, that SimCity was always a single player, sort of quiet, contemplative, unwinding sort of experience that people did by themselves. Um, and uh, this just doesn't, this new game just does not appear to be 
same thing. It is not what people expected it to be, I guess. Um, so we'll see. Obviously, the bugs and things will get ironed out over time. Um, so you know, this isn't this isn't really the sky is falling. It's you know, it's a shame, but things will get ironed out, and we'll see more if that traditional single player SimCity experience still exists in this game or not. I don't know. Uh, so I guess those are my first impressions of you know the the drama that's been going on. Uh, the game itself, when I was able to get in and play. Um, a couple things have, have, a couple things struck me right away and that I've been thinking about. Uh, number one is, um, a region has only a few cities in it, and those cities aren't actually connected to each other. They're spaced out way far apart, and so the bulk of the space in a region is, is unusable. It's just there to look pretty as far as I can tell. Um, uh, even when you have cities that are close to each other, they're spaced way out from each other and connected by already existing highways. Um, this put me off right away. Because, um, I, you know, I want to see this big massive uh, city evolve and grow over time and um, and, and the map tiles themselves are very, very tiny. They feel tiny. Uh, somebody, I think, was saying that they're roughly equivalent to the medium city size in SimCity 4. Um, they feel way smaller than that. They feel like the smallest tile um, from SimCity 4, in my opinion. Um, so then both of those things kind of were a disappointment. Because uh, I don't see... Uh, there, there will be no such thing as a big city in, in the this new Sim City game, as far as I can tell. Um, it just doesn't; the option doesn't exist. Um, so we're looking at you know tiny, uh, small little towns. I mean, these tiles are roughly supposed to be you know two kilometers on a side. I mean that that's like a small town size if it's not totally cramped packed with buildings. Um, and even if it is totally cramped packed with buildings. It's, it's the shape of a small town because in your region, it's separated out from everything else. So you can't combine a bunch of cities into one big um, metropolis so far. Now, it's possible that these options will be unlocked with more downloadable content later, big, bigger you know, city tiles, etc., and expansion. Uh, I don't like that because I feel like that's an integral part of what the game is. And if they're going to you know try and milk that, um, that that feels distasteful to me. But, uh, uh, what else about the game? Um, the, the camera feels kind of weird. It feels like you can't zoom out far enough and you're, you're constantly getting pulled too far in, too close to the city, so you can't really see the whole city. Even though these are small cities, you can't really see the whole thing at, at one time. Um, I did notice there's an option for some sort of overhead camera view, so I may play around with that. That might alleviate what, what I'm complaining about there. Um, also, it just doesn't feel like there are very many things to do in the game. You plunk down roads and zones. Um, you don't get to pick what density of zone it is, because that's determined by the road you build. Um, and then you just kind of sit there. And... You know that that's I guess that is the SimCity experience, but for some reason in this new game, it really feels like there is not very much to do, not very many options. Um, even when you you know click through the th different things to build, there just aren't that many. You know, there's two options for police, um, two options for fire. Um, the, I I was hoping, and I got the impression that this game was going to be much. Uh, deeper and have more options and more richness to it than previous SimCity games, and so far it totally does not feel that way to me. Um, granted, I've only played it for you know two hours maybe, um, and things may unlock as you progress in the game, um, but I don't really don't have a sense of that yet. So, first impressions, I'm disappointed. Uh, disappointed in the the release, disappointed in the game itself as I've been trying to play it, 
Um, I'm hoping that this stuff gets ironed out and that as we learn more about how the game works, uh, some of these concerns will be alleviated. But So I guess those are my first impressions. Uh, the game looks beautiful, of course. Um, the detail of animations is really nice. Um, uh, the music is is nice. It's not done by the same guy who did the previous game, so it's not quite as jazzy, funky. Um, but it's it's peaceful. It's calming. It's it's a nice soundtrack. Um, so I guess those are my first impressions. Uh, if if these launch bugs get worked out, maybe I can actually record a real review of gameplay elements and such, um, which would be nice. But in the meantime, everybody have a great Friday, and I'll see you uh, in my next video.